first look at 3D Mark version 1.0. This is the latest from Future Mark. It is a great way of testing different types of hardware. So from mobile devices to your netbook or home PC or your hardcore gamer PC, they've got three different tests the Ice Storm, the Cloud Gate, and the Fire Strike. I'm going to do, be doing the uh, Fire Strike and uh, testing that on the default preset and the extreme preset. I've got two different machines that I'm going to use this on. Here are the system requirements for it. You can download it from Steam or independently. I'll give you the link below just in case if you want to try it out right now. The free version allows you to run all tests and, um, and then you can view them online, for example, which is great, and I've done that. Or, uh, thanks uh, to FutureMark, I've been given the Professional Edition, which allows me to customize the tests or run each test individually. Now, because of that, I'm going to focus on this first look on running only the Fire Strike test, which is for high-performance gaming PCs, right? Because that makes sense. That's what I've got here. So, we're going to worry about the other tests another time, and for this first look, concentrate on that specific test. So I've got an AMD machine, I've got an Intel machine, same graphic card in both machines, and we're gonna see the results. Now I did have to upgrade the um, drivers to the latest beta drivers because the um, official drivers that are out are not necessarily being recognized properly by this first release of 3D Mark. As you can see from the graphics, they have improved, they have changed. We're using DirectX 11, obviously, there's hardcore des tessellation happening here, and also physics tests have been improved. So we're going to put the latest hardware to the test, and that's what I like about having a new benchmark tool that can really give us a, a better idea on how uh, the latest computer components are um, benchmarked today, not uh, necessarily with older uh, benchmark games and tools out there. So it's good to try something new. However, we're going to have to wait for the drivers and the um, updates for this 3D Mark to come out so we can get consistent results and compare them online with other people's uh, results as well. Right now that is not currently available. So this gives you an idea though on the um, different type of uh, test. This is the CloudGate uh, test for um, home PC and netbooks and laptops for example. That's what the graphics um, look like and are, um, gives you an idea. Okay, but the uh, test that I'm focusing on here and comparing with my two machines is the Fire Strike, this one right here. Okay, so Fire Strike really puts a lot of stress on the machine. Um, you can see it stutter at times, you know, the frames per second go all the way down. You can tell it's really pushing it to the limits on it when, uh, when I was watching the test go through on different, uh, on different um, tests, of course. But, uh, you know, what puzzled me was, you know, I saved the results, I viewed them online, and um, I compared my two different machines, the Intel Core i7-3820 uh, that's running at 5 gigahertz against my uh, AMD FX-3850 running at 4.5 gigahertz. Same graphic card, again, the 7950, okay? And uh, the Intel results were actually lower. So check these results out. Here at the top are the two results for the Intel Core i7, okay, on extreme and default uh, settings, uh, benchmark settings. And then just below that are the AMD uh, results for the extreme and the default settings. And they're both higher. Both of those scores on the AMD machine were higher than the uh, Intel Core i7 using the same graphic card. So I'm a little bit puzzled there. Could be that types of tests are making use, of course, of multi threading and of the AMD 8 cores. There's definitely something that I need to check out and I'll get back to you on that on the next video that I do on this. But if you want to try it out, let me know what scores you got. And again, thank you for watching.